Hello everybody. Welcome to um, tonight's video. I have a little stole to um, work on. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, I was just out. Who's been out and about today? Roads haven't been too bad, but I was just out. I had to go up my dad's and it's snowing and the roads are getting starting to get a little spy out here in um, Mount Pleasant, PA. And um, up the farm, about two miles up the road from me, um, always has uh, a couple deer lingering about. And tonight I was able to see them real good in the snow. There were 16 deer hanging about, eating, eating whatever they can find on the ground, corn or whatever the heck was planted there over the summertime. So um, it's a pretty, they don't mind the cars. You know, we all drive by and they look at you like, what up, dude? So, um, if you haven't been to my page before, I am Diane, and um, I am the creator of D.L. Stein's Designs, and um, I'm just bringing you a little project here and there, and um, so working towards making products for our upcoming shows this summer. So, here is what I have today. So, um, I'll show you from yesterday, um, I did the acrylic pours on some tiles. And that's how they turned out. There's one. And I sealed these with a gloss sealer. So they were white, you can wipe them off, and they're nice and shiny. But yeah. And my light's right behind me, so I'm trying not to. these came out real cool they did have a uh, napkin underneath so there's a little texture going on I'm gonna be making more of these um, definitely uh, they really really turned out cool so um, yeah I am gonna be um, make so if you're interested um, let me know and um, I need to do something about that I also did I had a lot of paint so I had some of these um, tea candle holders hanging around. I don't know if you can see that, but I did the drip pour on these candle holders. They didn't, there's some areas that didn't get all the glass, but that's okay because the light shines through. I mean, out of the same colors, I think I added purple, but you get a lot of different looks all the same colors poured in different ways and then I got this mason jar I did too so um I, yeah, I'm gonna put flowers in these maybe some candles so these are gonna be on display as well I got bunches of those so um look for those as well so what we're gonna do today is this little stool all wood nothing fancy I got it for three dollars at the Goodwill a couple days ago and um, it's just a nice little stool it's going to beat up or anything so I'm going to do that I have this little stencil I'm going to put on it and I am going to paint it in antique white um, junk monkey paint company located in Ligonier PA I'm in Mount Pleasant PA they're right up the highway in Ligonier, PA. Um, I am not sponsored by them. I'll just let you know. But I do love this paint. They make it in-house. Made in the USA. And um, I'll leave the link below so you can look her up. But this is Antique White. And can you see it? Yeah. It's just a very nice, creamy white color. Creamy, creamy, creamy. So that's what we're going to do. So we're all set up here. So today is Martin Luther King Day. And we do not have, we, the lunch ladies and the uh, kids, did not have school today. The teachers, um, they had to go. They had an in-service day. So they, it's the end of the nine weeks. So they got to get all their reports all tidied up and any... Um, 
I'm short training or anything like that. I'm sure it needs to be done. Our custodians, bless their heart. Um, they have to be there regardless. Um, you know, so they're there most all, all the time. They, I think they get a little bit of a break in the summertime, but not much. So, um, they got a hard work. They got, tell you what, they work hard keeping our schools nice. And, um, we have lovely custodians in our school, I have to say. I just, you know what, you need something, just ask. Them and the maintenance people, you know. And parents and, you know what, it's like the lunch ladies, the custodians, they're free, and the maintenance people. People don't realize we're there. We just kind of, we live in the background of what's happening at the schools. That's okay. It's nicer that way. But can you see what's happening there? White. Oh. And I'm getting the legs. So this paint, you do not need the primer. You do not need the sand. And um, this piece was already um, nice anyways. It didn't have any marks on it. But, um, yeah, you don't need the sand. You don't need the primer. So, um, you just brush it on. Go to town. Get it on your piece. Oh, I'm getting it on the suitcase. is going on nothing else we're getting a car fixed one fixed one towed <laughs> i tell you it takes up your whole day making phone calls picking people up whatever i'd take my daughter and take her to work and her car she's driving needed fixed I had to drop, drop it off the garage and it was pretty frozen so i would imagine that it needed a little um a little defrosting because it sat she didn't go anywhere for a couple of days in it so um, her roads were really really bad and they decided just to stay in instead of trying to get up and down the little hill that they live on so um, that's what they did I stayed home so I did get to stay home this evening so I could do this because uh, she didn't need a ride home. And she lives in Jeanette, which is like two towns over. And uh, I wasn't really in the mood to take her home. So her friend that she works with is taking her home. They're going to the gym, so awesome. And that's all. That's all there is, folks. Right, I'm getting underneath here. So... Uh, all I'm using to paint this is a chip brush. It's a one inch chip, chip brush. Um, these are like 69 cents to a dollar, depending on how, what size you get. Um, that's how you, you get the shabby, shabby look and all the lines through there. If you want a smoother look, um, get a better one of them fluffier brushes but if you if you want the uh, distressed antique look pick up one of these chip brushes and you can wash them and use them an uh, awful lot before they're good and done so I've, I've used this one many times over just wash it out keep going so there we go what do you think hmm? what do you think that's how I can use a little zhuzhing up huh This white antique lace is a little thinner than um, the darker colors. I do notice that. And she said it would be. It's just the um, makeup of the colors. The pigment isn't as thick. Let's say you would black or red or the blue. 
and the other colors. So not even the teals yet. So okay, let's see. We're looking good. I'm going to turn this in my hair for a bit. Yes, I'm going to dry this. So. Really My dog Bill is sitting there. He's like, it is. What's up? He's napping. I think I'm going to do another coat on here. If it is rather thin. This is just regular red one. going to do the top here so we can get a stencil on but it is nice and dry so. and there goes the phone and then my husband will pick it up phone today does anybody ever have this issue, the house phone? If you have a landline still, nobody calls it. Hardly ever. And then all one day, the phone rings all day long. Now, I can't complain because my extremely good friend Beverly called. And we got to talk. And when we get on the phone, because she lives in Illinois, and I live here, so we don't get to talk all that much, and we're all busy, so we talk a long time. And then I hang up the phone, a little while later, my daughter calls me. Oh, then I had to make calls today. I've been on the phone all day, and it just rang now. So... Now, tomorrow that phone will not ring once. Not once. And you're expecting to call, it will call, it will ring all night, all day. Or it won't ring. When you're expecting to call, words, Diane, words. Okay. Now, do do. All right, now. Mmm. This is such a creamy, beautiful white. Oh my gosh, it is so... I did put a second coat on there. And it, it's it's just creamy, like French vanilla ice cream. That's kind of what it looks like. French vanilla ice cream. That, it should have called it French vanilla ice cream because that's what it reminds me of. It's like mm, 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 mm. yummy, yummy, yummy. So, this is drying up. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can get the top dry. One more time. I 
like to start in the tone if I wasn't doing video. I'm going to come back to it. But for the sake of this. This is like, look, I didn't wipe my hand on there. Well, I could, my whole palm, nothing there. So just from when we painting. Okay. Stencil time. Now, let's see here. I got these little stencils, and this come a whole pack from Hobby Lobby. And um, they're like the screen print stencils. They're lovely. And I'm just going to stick that down on there. Right, hold on. I'm just going to get it. I'll just get some white velvet. I'm just getting a little black velvet paint. <clears throat> also Junk Monkey. Let me stir it up here a little bit. Let me find a stir thing. <sighs> All right. Um, Sonia's been saying when you do buy your paint, Um, you're going to want to stir it because um, all the ingredients do kind of settle to the bottom of the can. So just get a stir stick or I got a popsicle stick. That's pretty good. It just since there's not a whole lot of paint in there. I got enough to hold on to. It's a plain old popsicle stick. So stir it up a little bit. And then I just got a plain old brush from Walmart. And nothing fancy. So, and then you're just going to go dab, dab, and brush. Dab, 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 brush it in. These silk screen stencils are really, really nice because um, you don't need a lot of paint. There's not a lot of bleed through. So you just, you need very little and you get it on. And you're done. Okay, let's put the lid on this so I don't spill it. Okay, now, there we are. And this has a little sticky on the back. And then you're just going to put it and wash it off with some soap and water. And there it is. Is that cute or what? Ta-da! So I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to let the rest of this dry. And um, i got some places I need to fix up because I've been touching it. And then I'm going to post uh, a few pictures. And um, on site, if you're interested, um... Give me a holler, PM me, and let me know, and um, we can uh, do something about that. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. And um, so, yep, everything's for sale. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you're interested in something, just give me a holler, and um, we'll take care of a private messenger. So that's all I have for today. Stay in, stay safe. Um, if you have to go out, beware the roads are getting slippy. Um, take your time. Don't need to be in a hurry. Watch for deer. They are out and about. And uh, I will see you See you next couple days. I am busy. I'm busy tomorrow and Wednesday. So um, probably towards the end of the week. So uh, have a great week, couple of days. See you later. Bye.